everyone and welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. If you're new here, I'm Yoshida. I am a self-employed hairstylist and I like to get my life together by planning my budget, planning my finances, and planning minimally and functionally using a planner. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know that you're new here so that we can welcome you to the Cove. Okay, you guys, let's hop in. It's time for our paycheck to paycheck weekly budget. I need to put down here, I need to fill in my to earn. These cards are free on my website. They are the 12 week inspired. I will do that later. You, I think the last video you saw was me doing my $50 grocery budget. The video before that was my monthly budget, my monthly overview. And we're going to be using that monthly overview today to pay things. Um, I have my pen here and I'll be using possibly this pen as well. Both of these pens came in a subscription box. Let's get into it. And also we kind of need to close out last week. Let's first do that. Let's go through last week. Um, I put on here, I canceled CMP. Community will come out on Tuesday to 6. Uh, PayPal, $57 was returned. I need to make sure that I have money for that. So that needs to go on this week. And pay day for products. Um, I need to get some hair products. So I'm going to move that over here. And I tell you, I love a sticky note. I love a sticky note. <laughs> and these also were in a budget box. Go Daddy. I did pay those and I put the actual amount. Let's see what our hair income was. And I'm just going to cross out Norris Cove because we did not like basically take a profit from that. What we ended up making last week, drum roll, please. Actually, I wrote it in my calendar so I can go back to it. I had to catch things up. <clears throat> my January. Um, income pretty much it wasn't as accurate because i forgot to fill in some weeks that's just how i was feeling so i did a few guesstimations but it came in low so it could have been possibly higher we ended up making 785 i'm going to use the green here so we ended up making 785 we paid GoDaddy. We actually paid GoDaddy twice because we had our email and our yearly subscription, which I need to write that in on my perpetual calendar. Booth rent got paid, so there's a check mark right there. Amazon, I'm not sure because Amazon will pull for any account that you use, so I'm not for sure. I got to check my accounts. Community got paid, but that is moving to this week. Walmart. Did I pay Walmart? Oh my God, I forgot to pay Walmart. And it was on my mind to do. Let me move this. Oh my God, Walmart was due yesterday. I just realized the date. I've got to put that in my digital calendar as well. Zip, pay, we paid $48.25. I can't remember if I told you, but we paid off some debt. So that is in my debt payoff, which we'll go over in another video. We did $112 in... Cash envelopes. I'm trying to see sinking funds. So I'm going to use this pen. I'm just going to put uh, cash envelopes. I didn't have a budget, but we're just going to put $112. Okay. I don't rip, I didn't do the total. So I do need to do that for closeout. I'm going to make a whole separate closeout insert so that i can keep account of this any extra money coming in not that i know of so that is it and those things got paid gas came out i checked that off products i didn't get products so that saved us there because i have to pay for products this week so we ended up paying 66 75 and these and i paid booth rent so that's the majority of things that got paid. And then $112 went to cash envelopes. That is it for last week, kind of closing that out. 
total income was seven eighty five. Let's get into this week. This week we have it'll be the fifth through the eleventh. Oops, Jesus. I don't know why I wrote there. And for me, it's if you want to fill this in, check number means like is it your first um paycheck, second paycheck, first week of budget, and second week of paycheck. For me, it's gonna be the second of the month. I'm just gonna put two hair. I'm guesstimating looking at this week, we could pull off fourteen hundred dollars. Um, I'm going to try to stay, ugh, I'm so scared to put that because the way these folks be canceling, but it's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and just put 12 just to be on the safe side. I could do 13 because let me show you why I say that. This week right here was $1,478, almost $1,500. So that would be exactly two weeks from that day, as you can see, a busy week. But you see here, two weeks before that was now $118. But things are picking up. We're out of January. January is always kind of slow for me. So I'm going to guess them. I know I got, like today is a busy day. Saturday is busy. I'm going to go put $1,300. Now, I'm paying myself from Norris Cove this week. And this week, it actually can go here because I've been a little nervous about it because I've never really paid myself for my business. I've only like paid myself back. If I bought something ahead of time, I may pay myself back if I needed it. If I don't need it, I generally just don't pay myself back. Like if I bought something and it cost uh, $50, like I bought paper uh, uh, last week and I forgot about that. It was like $20, 22 something like that. I don't, I just... You know, say, hey, this is whatever. But when we get into the big amount, I may pay myself back. Anyway, I said I was going to take a profit of $200. Also, y'all, I got some things to break down. It's early morning, so I'm a little foggy headed, but work with me. <laughs> I said I was going to pay myself here on payday. Um, I thought I would be getting my money from sub boxes on the 6th. That money came today. So this is a payday. Let me find my sticker book. So it's actually a payday as well. Let me use one of these. I don't want to use that one. Let me see if I get it. Here we go. Okay, so we're getting paid here as well. Another one will come in, and I have mine set to daily. I never changed it. I had borrowed some money from my website, so it was hard to go back and change it to weekly. Nonetheless, I'll be getting a paycheck here and a paycheck here. This one is actually going to be a lower amount, which will be $100, and then this one will be, um, I have to look back, but this is the one that will take care of pretty much all of this stuff. Well, not all of this, excuse me. Canva, get it together, your sheet of Canva, um, and what I'm paying myself out of, the one today, the $200, so I'm going to put $200, now, let another disclaimer, I hope I'm not all over the place, I left my coffee upstairs, so forgive me, but I have to do, I have some things, some other things to get, once I get all of those things, if I don't have 200 left, I'm not going to pay myself 200. So we're going to guesstimate 200. I'm going to try to make this 200. If not, that's fine because we still have um, this payday over here. Um, and that is just from regular products. So again, that is 100. So I can use that and then put back. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, let's go ahead and put 1500. I'm supposed to be selling some stuff this week. I'm going to add miscellaneous. I just have to find the time to do that. Also, you guys, when I did my monthly overview budget, I wrote down everything that was in the negative. I wrote uh, bills that were due, that were coming up, so that I could fill out my monthly. So I'm going to use this as a guide as well, along with my monthly. I'm going to fill this in, and I'm going to come back 
because I don't want to hold y'all up. Okay, you guys, so I've written down everything that I owe, and the red is everything that is behind. Now, after I thought about it, I was just originally going to pay myself 200 from the box, and I need, I think I need to add the 100 from just regular sales, because again, this week we actually have a profit, and I'm just going to possibly use that hundred to pay down some of the debt because I think I'm well over 200. And the only reason I was paying myself 200 was because of the debt. I wanted to put that profit finally towards debt. Now I'm not going to add the hundred right now, but if I need the hundred, I'm going to use it to pay down debt, but let's do some calculating. We have a total of $1,164.69. Let me write that in here. But I'm going to round it to $1,165. Also, I do need to include my State Farm. Let's see. I know it's possibly not going to be paid next week. I'm going to, I need to make a note of that. Let me make a quick note. Do I have some little small stickies? I normally have small stickies. Let me make a note of that. Okay, I'm just putting it here as a note. Well, let me put it to the side. <laughs> All these sticky notes. So we have a total of 1,165. Let's subtract that from 1,500. We have $335.31. So we're just going to make that 335 that we have remaining. <clears throat> Okay, now we're going to go over here and add up our sinking funds, which we're going to add to uh, our cash envelopes. And I have 120 down for grocery because I want to do around 50, 60 today. I'll be probably cash stuff in that, uh, savings, future, PTO, and ones and fives. Those are my important categories right now. If something else comes up, then I'll add that. Or if there is extra. That comes to 235. If anything, I will possibly bring groceries down because as y'all as y'all can see, I can work the grocery budget. So that comes to 235. We're gonna subtract that from 335. We have a hundred dollars left. We're going to subtract the 80. I know that's 20. Now, I have gas written here because I do need to get gas. Gas usually runs me about $70 for my truck. But if there is something left, I may not use all of this on products. Again, we may have extra money. I just went on the low end, but this is typically a high week where I could possibly make more. We're going to stick with this, though. 
and that's 80 and remaining is 20 I'm going to leave this kind of like a buffer. That's something else. I want to start building a buffer. I'm going to add that envelope buffer. And it looks like I have $20. So I've kind of zero based my budget. So it should be zero. I've kind of zero based this off of just a prediction of what I will have coming in. Debt payment. If I look over here, this is pretty much all debt. We don't need to fill this out because we're paying that out with the bills that are due. Now, total income, we have 1500 That's the budget. Total bills is, make sure y'all can see, total bills is $1,165. Total expenses, $80. Yeah, $80. Total sinking funds, we have $235, but we added $20, so that's $255. Yeah, 235, we're adding a 20, so that's 255. Total debt payment, we're not doing that. So with the $1,165 plus the 255 expenses, I mean, excuse me, sinking funds and the $80 expenses, we have 1500. That has zero based us out. This all comes to 1500 I always keep saying it should be remaining zero. Remaining, I'm going to put remaining zero. There we go. I have zero based budget, my budget on, what is it, inconsistent income. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's pop this back in. Oh, I need to put State Farm on here. So, like, if there's extra, I can take care of them. Um, I got a note over here. Oh, okay. Where did I get this? Maybe I was going to pay myself $300 because, yeah, that extra 100 I was going to pay myself. I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's going to come to me. <laughs> It'll come to me later, like, exactly what that's for. Like, you know, I just make notes and sticky notes, so... Klarna Community, $141. Hmm, that must be debt. Future, I was going to give myself $40. Groceries, $60. Savings, $50. But I was going to turn around and do it again. Well, we about to find out. So this is, um, this is our budget for the week. I'm going to, I got to get this into my personal planner, but I can also look and see what I got to pay. I'm actually going to probably take a picture of it so I don't get sidetracked today when that money starts to flow in. I'm going to take care of all this in the red pretty much today. What else I'm going to do? Because I'll, like I said, my pay today is going to be pretty good. I'm going to take care of everything in the red, uh, credit one today, Klarna. I forgot to add Walmart. Oh my God. I got to add Walmart on here. So my budget is off just a little bit. Let me put that over here. Walmart. Let me circle that. Walmart. So they're going to get paid too. Again, I think I can fit Walmart in. Walmart is normally $40. I'm expecting, like I said, another check tomorrow. So I'll just pay Walmart from that. Let me put them on the monthly while I'm thinking about it. No, calendar, sorry, calendar. Oh boy, I tell you. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna put Walmart. Why do I got, oh, I'm guesstimating. I got 420 written here. I'm guesstimating around 420. For pay today, it possibly could be more, roughly around 500 but I just wanted to leave it on the low end of 420 And I did that so that I can kind of calculate what bills I could pay out of this. I hope that makes sense. Let me add my little sticky notes back in here. In case I um, get a little confused. Matter of fact, let me take these out and put them in here in my personal on my 
uh, schedule. So when someone asks me, if she cannot come, yes, she I absolutely can. Because your she need to pay these bills. So I'm going to stick those right here. That way I see them and I won't be confused as where all this extra money is coming from. You guys, that is it for today's video. Again, we did our paycheck to paycheck. I really hope I was not all over the place. It is the morning. I don't know why I tried to film in the morning because I'm not clear headed, but we got it done. And I'm so excited to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If again, if 